Hello loves, I hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to show this new palette. I ended up getting this from Ipsy. It was an Ipsy deal, but Mana Kadar does sell it on their website. I just haven't seen anything about it, so I wanted to show it. But it is the Paris Dream palette. This is the box it comes in. And it is five eyeshadows, a face powder, a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. It tells, you know, tells you all the ingredients. And it is made in China from Mana Kadar. I believe this is 40 some odd dollars. Sorry for all the noise. It's very noisy outside here where I live. But, um, yeah. So, let's look at this palette, the Paris Dream. I could not resist this. I thought it was so cute because it's just a little Paris theme. I got it for $20. And, yeah, I believe it's 46 or something around, <laughs> around that area. I'll link it below. And it's so cute. So, you have the little Eiffel Tower, the little girl with her little heart balloons. Ooh la la. And the little, you know, the little, what is it, cafe? So, let's get in here. We do have a mirror. Hello. Howdy, partners. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm out of it today. But So, we have the nice full mirror. And then this is the product. I did swatch it when I get it. I couldn't help it. But I wanted to show it before I completely destroyed it, pretty much. So, let me get comfortable here. Um, unfortunately, these are overlays. So, they are going to get destroyed. And, I don't know. Let's destroy this palette, I guess. Let's see. So this is a face powder. Before I destroy it, I guess let's talk about it. And I'm so excited to destroy it. I'm so terrible. So we have a face powder with the little Eiffel Tower there. And that Eiffel Tower is definitely going to probably come off. But I think the imprint of it will stay. It is imprinted. Like it is raised. If you can see. I don't know if you can see. It's raised, but that is just an overcoat, the color. Same thing with Little Miss little Miss Thing walking her poodle over there and her little balloons. It is so cute that, you know, it's just like the cover. She's walking her little dog and then the balloons are the eyeshadows. And the blush and highlighter slash highlighter is adorable. It looks like a it looks like a stamp. It reminds me reminds me of my grandmother because she used to she's from Paris and she'd always send a lot of letters and that stamp just brings me back. I don't know, it kinda reminds me of my family. So yeah. Um Face powder, blush, highlighter, and bronzer. So obviously this is the bronzer. Face powder, highlighter, I mean, yeah, highlighter and blush. So they look very pretty so far. So let me, let me just do a little swatchy swatch here. This is her, and this is, yeah, so it does come off. You can see the overlay is really pretty, but that's not going to last. So I'll swatch where it's not overlaid. So it's like a gold powder. I wish that this would was more than an overlay, and I believe it's just completely overlay. There we go. You can see. So now that's all gone. So that's sad because it is so pretty. It's too bad that they didn't keep that in there. Like just, I guess it may be hard to embed it that deep in, but that would have been so nice. Now let's look at this. Same thing. There goes the Eiffel Tower, the tip, and that is the powder. It does kind of make it look dirty because of the color. So that is a face powder. It's not going to obviously work for everybody. I don't even know how it's going to work on me. Maybe a highlighter. I don't know. But that gives you, I mean, that's just in case someone's curious, I'm buying this. These eyeshadows look pretty. So this is white one. Sorry, I have a little bit of shadow still on my hand. I love that they're heart. I love heart-shaped anything. But the fact that they're like little heart balloons is so cute. Let me take my hand. So the dark ones are very pigmented. They are all decently pigmented. I haven't used them. This is first impression of just digging into them. But you could see it's kind of gray. That's a pretty... That's not as dark as I'd like it, but it'll be a pretty lid color. The white is a little chalky, as in many whites are. This is a nice, nice gray. That's that one. That's that one. Oh, that's that one. That's that one. So that's like a grayish, too. Grayish brown. And then that's just a nice dark brown. So, half-ass swatches, but still, like I said, you get an idea. Now let's get this. This is very pigmented. And it stays. That's imprinted pretty well in there, so it's not... You know, it's not wiping off that easily, which is nice. That's very beautiful. And you could see, like, it's stained my face. Not stained, but... So, pigment's pretty. 
And the palette is cute. I don't know if I think that this palette is actually worth 40 some odd dollars. I mean, if you love it and that's not, you know, money's not an issue, then hey, for $20 free shipping from Ipsy, I couldn't resist it. I think it's so cute and I don't know, I can't wait to use this and I'm going to use it as a little travel palette this summer. I am definitely a makeup hoarder, but I'm sad that that comes off. It's it's already just so. I should have taken a picture beforehand. I don't know why I did it, and her little leg is gone, but it's still a very cute palette. Manicadar Beauty, Manicadar, Manicadar, Pear Stream Palette. So there you go. Tons of love, lots of blessings. Let me show the back really quick. Pear Stream, made in China. There are no names to any of the you know products. It's just a really pretty little summer palette. It's adorable. Tons of love. Bye.